useful incremental and differential are three basic backup types which are almost available in all backup tools. However, the difference between them is always a pain for most users. So today in this video, I'm gonna try to make this point clear. And before we go ahead, there are two essential rules that need to be kept in mind. No matter what backup strategy you're using, the first initial backup must be a full backup. The second is that every backup will create a new image file. Ok, we start with the example to understand how the three backup types works. So we have three files in the folder. Add a create a full backup on day one. Of course, it can only be a full backup. On day two, there is a new DL file added into this folder. If we try to create another full backup, then all files will be copied to a new image file exactly as they are. While for incremental differential backup, they will only backup the changed part since the full backup on day one. Here in this case, it's a DLL file. On this day, there seems no any difference between them. However, on day three, if we keep adding new files since day two, now incremental only backs up the changed files since day two while differential backup still includes the file since the full backup on day 1. In other words, the change in the DL file on day 2 is still in differential backup. Now we understand that the main difference between incremental and differential is that incremental is created based on last backup, no matter what type it is, but differential is always created based on last full backup. With this different structure, if one of the image files in the chain corrupted, for differential other backup will be not affected and still good for recovery, while all subsequent incremental image files will become corrupted too. Now I believe we have enough information to come to the conclusion. Full backs up every selected file, so need more time to be finished and take more space, but can be recovered independently. Incremental backs up change files from last backup, so normally cost much less time and space. But all previous image files that current incremental relies on are also need to be recovered and first. At all the three points, differential backup performs average between the other two. After we understand the difference between them, how we can use them to better serve our backup leads, here is a typical case that we can learn from. Assume that we need to do the backup every day and multiple times a day. Definitely the first backup leads to be a full type to work on the basis. Then all incremental backups after that to save time and space. Add a differential backup to start the backup job for the other days to make sure that every single day's backup is independent to others. So as long as you still have the full backup, even if you lost or cropped an image file, what you lose is just one day's backup. And another circle starts with full backup, and following with the same chain combined with differential and incremental backups will ensure that you always have proper backup to recover and enough space to save the image file. Our professional backup tool is a to do backup can help you create such a schedule to protect system or important data easily. Thank you very much for watching. For any questions, just feel free to contact us.